Then we had an inter- interview with Otis and Chad, and in the middle of the interview, they cut to a shot of Lita laid out backstage. And Raquel and Liv are there. Trish and Becky show up. And Becky thinks for sure that Raquel and Liv were responsible. And then as we later find out, turns out she was wrong, it appears. Byron Saxon interviews Becky. You know, we had a guy on our, our board that was really angry. Was, Can Brian and Dave quit just presuming Vince is responsible for all these changes? Just because someone says something different. Listen, buddy. They, by decree of Vince McMahon, were required to use the term local medical facility. Okay? This was a Vince McMahon decree. Vince McMahon departed WWE. And literally, I think the very next show, someone got injured. And I actually think it was Becky was the one who said that they had been taken to the hospital. They proceeded to use the term hospital until Vince McMahon returned, at which point on this very show, Becky said that Lita had been taken to a local medical facility. I understand you want to believe that Vince is not back. That's fine. I do as well. But get real, buddy. Let's live in uh, reality here. How We're dare back you... to having to call this place a local medical facility. How dare you draw conclusions from 30 years of evidence, Brian? I, it's, it's, a, it's a flaw, a human flaw that I have. Speaking of flaws, with all due respect, Raquel and Liv versus Becky and Trish for the tag titles. Holy smokes, this thing fell apart. And it went way too long. And uh, my favorite spot of the year so far is when some spot got botched in the corner. And in response to it, Raquel grabs Becky Lynch and she slams her. She slams her onto her own partner. I I don't know what was supposed to happen. I was dying. And so poor Liv gets squished by her own partner, power slamming Becky onto her. And Becky's got that look on her face like, oh, dude. And then she just she just grabs Liv, and they start to go to their near falls and everything like that. And then Trish ends up uh, going for the chick kick on Liv. Liv rolls her up. Liv pins her. So for those keeping track, Becky and Lita lost the tag titles to Raquel and Liv when Liv pinned Trish Stratus, who is not one half of the World Tag Team Champions. So this was a very WCW segment right here, probably closer to Thunder. And then... You know, Becky's consoling Trish afterwards, and Trish ends up turning on her and attacking her later out. And so, you know, according to Dave, this is a match scheduled for SummerSlam. It's April. I guess Trish is going to go home and come back? Is that what's going to happen here? Because that's a long way to go to build up a one-on-one match with Becky Lynch and Trish Stratus. This is the kind of thing you would do if they were going to be wrestling in, like, Puerto Rico or something like that. Is it possible that there's a Trish and Lita program first? I mean, maybe. If you Trish, could always do anything. Assuming yeah. Trish was the one who beat up Lita and lost Lita's tag team title for her, they could fill some time with that, perhaps. Sure, yeah. Actually, wasn't... Yeah, it was. Um, Trish and Lita had a match in Puerto Rico before. New Year's Resolution one. I think Lita hey. blew her knee out doing a Fez press off the apron in Puerto Rico. Uh-oh, well... Now's our chance for revenge. Do it again. Get it right. Knock, knock, who's there? Ric Flair. Ric Flair who? No, Ric Flair who? <laughs> I didn't get that one. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock, who's there? <laughs> Bailey. Bailey who? We Bailey made it home in time to watch SmackDown. That's Live. not how not, not jokes work. <laughs> we Bailey? <laughs> What does that mean? She's small. It's <laughs> we barely made it home. Oh, we barely made it. <laughs> well, your Invisalign made you dumb. <laughs> Why did the referee referee's feet smell when he was working? Because he was a doo- doodle. <laughs> what? <laughs> because he was a doodle. His feet smelled because he was a doodle. <laughs> Yeah, I don't get it. What? See, these, these, these are so dumb that they're funny. Am I high? I don't. I, I drove here. I think I was sober when I got here. If you enjoy these videos, for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month, 
you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.